There's a few blasters coming out in space year 2020 that I was excited about, and one of them, ironically enough, was a Zuru X-Shot blaster, but just, just look at this thing. Like, get, can I even fit it in frame? It's the Crusher. It's a minigun, and it doesn't work in the way you expect it to. You know, up until very recently, the entirety of 2020 for my hobby seemed to be really lacking. And then everything kind of dropped at once and all of a sudden it's turning into be like the best year ever even though we can't go to wars right now. But one of the things I was the most excited for wasn't a nerf blaster, it wasn't a dart zone blaster, it wasn't even a Busby blaster. Congratulations, X-Shot, you had my attention with the Crusher. You probably expected the Crusher to be yet another flywheel-powered chain-fed blaster with a spitty barrel that we get, you know, like every year, multiple of them from the likes of Dart Zone and Busby and stuff like that. It's, it's a Springer. It's a Springer with a spinny barrel. It's a chain-fed Springer with a spinny barrel. Let's open it up. Tension! <sighs> I forgot this is an X-Shot Blaster. I don't even need a knife for this one. Oh my god. It looks so cool. It looks so cool. Now you might be asking a couple of questions. Like, uh, alright, so it's a Springer. What's the range that it advertises? 80 feet. What's the capacity? 35. And of course, the most important question of the day, next to belt compatibility, it's a new belt, sorry. How much does it cost? $25. Oh, it, it comes in separate, oh, okay. X-Shot, if I can't go on your website right now and buy like 300 of these, I'm gonna be very upset. Um, ho, oh, oh. ho. I really like the Dart Zone chains, but these might be marketably better. And then you just kind of grab the thing and align it together and just kind of... How the hell do I put this thing? Oh, oh, this side, this side. Okay, now we now we do a thing where we go like, bam! And it just snaps into place. No metal. And believe it or not, it actually comes with 48 darts. You get extra darts, even when it's a high capacity blaster. Not double, but more than enough. So to be fair to X-Shot, their darts are not the best. They definitely work. They definitely fly far. And they're still better than Nerf Elite darts. Oh, that, that chain is like super tight. Wow, that really pinches the dart there at the very end. But they're very cheap, not very good, and shorter than your standard length dart. So we will start the test off with X-Shot darts, but then we'll finish it with the good old fashioned Adventure Force waffles. So let's take a quick look at the controls on the blaster. You've got a spinny barrel. You've got a grip with a trigger and you've got a carry handle. That is also how you prime the blaster. And when you fire the blaster, the barrel spins. But if it's a, it's a mini gun, it should be able to shoot pretty fast. And luckily, if you hold down the trigger and prime it, it's got slam fire. Well, I don't know about you, that just about ticks all the boxes. The thing is surprisingly light. It's not very thick plastic as you would grow to expect from a brand like this. And you can see where they cut some corners with things like the priming rod is uh, very thin and skeletonized. It's not very thick plastic, but the color separation, while there's definitely a lot of white, the surface detail is immaculate. And there's enough of it, and I really do like the color scheme that Zuru has been going for. And don't worry, I'm sure there will be several other colors and variants of this exact blaster, because that's what Zuru does. 
This right here actually has a button on it that locks your chain into place, so when you need to put in a chain, you can just open that up. It doesn't actually fold apart or anything like that. You will have to have the chain disassembled in order to put it in, and you in fact fire the chain with it unlinked, although it does feed in from the right-hand side and eject out the left, which is a little bit backwards compared to every other blaster of this type I know of. Put the chain in. Feed the chain in. Lock it in place. Now it ain't going anywhere. And of course, now we gotta prime it. Push it back forward, fire a dart. I did skip one dart, unfortunately, but. This thing's $25. $25. That's that's not on sale. That's All right, so before I take it outside and do range testy fun stuff, do you take the Adventure Force waffle? Oh, it works just fine. <laughs> Standard Zero X shot darts. Ugh, there we go. Let's see how it does. We'll do single shots. Flat. And that was a little around elite ranges. Now it does seem if you don't reset the trigger properly, it tends to double fire on me. So if you don't touch the trigger. Seems like it's fine, but if you pull it down just a little bit. Yeah, I don't imagine that's a really touchy trigger. Alright, slam fire. With a slight angle, that range is incredible. That's hitting rival distances. Oh, and we're out. And this time we'll do some Adventure Force waffles and see how well it handles those. Absolutely beautifully. It's gonna be really hard for me to hit marker all of those, but yeah, it's safe to say it's accurate enough and the range is good enough with a slight angle. All right, it's safe to say that the crusher is a crusher. This blaster is going to change a lot of your loadouts out there. Maybe not so much for the general like Nerf War enthusiast in a park, unless you're using stock blasters, but if you're doing HVZ, this thing is gonna be probably your new Super Drum Magnum. Right off the bat, I was getting FPS readings over 81 at the highest and usually around the mid 75s, which is pretty good with the included darts. And of course it has full dark, and of course it has four dart, and of course, <clears throat> holy. And of course it has full dart compatibility. And of course it has four. And of course it has full dart compatibility with any other full length dart out there. So you shouldn't have any issues whatsoever lobbing shots out of this thing. It's got slam fire. It's got single shot fire. It's got a cool spinny barrel, but it is one of the very rare Springer chain fed blasters. And I will start right off the bat by saying this chain Zuru is amazing. This is one of the better design chains I have ever seen in the hobby. Beats the snot out of a Vulcan chain, but more importantly, even gives like the dart zone chains a run for their money. This thing is excellent. This is 35 rounds and it's tiny. It is compact. You could drape it over your body. If you had even more of them, it wouldn't be a problem. You could hold hundreds of rounds of chain on you. And Zuru, you really need to jump on that. I expect to be able to buy individual chains of this thing or even double, triple packs for this thing very, very soon. And they're very easy to snap together and break apart. Like it's super freaking easy, but it's sturdy enough that I'm not worried about it happening accidentally. Better yet is the whole chain locking mechanism on this blaster. It works extremely well. I was honestly surprised. 
rise. I feel like I'm going to break it if I try, and yet I can just push that out and push it. It works so good. High capacity, low price. It's ergonomically perfect in my opinion. The priming grip, I can only fit about three fingers in, so if you have even bigger hands than me, that might be an issue. But the rear grip is just solid. It's just, a, oh, it's so good. There are a couple of negatives, and these are gonna be deal breakers for some of you, but I promise you they're not that important in the grand scheme of things. First of all, if you're touching this trigger pretty much at all, even just a little tiny bit, it will slam fire. And the priming, while it is smooth enough that I could rattle off dozens of shots with it, no absolute problem whatsoever, you can hear that. It doesn't sound happy. It feels like almost every single time I'm gonna break it. And just to be sure, I dry fired this thing hundreds of times and ran into no issue. And it's possible that you could take this thing apart and reinforce everything and make it better. But right off the bat, that is a concern. It's also a little bit small, but that might be a pro because this is a blaster that is, while it could obviously is big enough to be a primary, I would rather run something like this as a secondary, just have something that hooks into this on my gear, wear it on my back, draw it when I need to. It will work extremely well for something like that. The barrel is completely cosmetic. You could remove that if you want to shorten it, but it does help with the overall aiming of things because it's really far out there. So it's easy to kind of paint your target with it. And since it's wide, it's easy for you to just, yeah, it, it, it's super, super simple to aim with this thing. And even though it's like, you know, a belt fed thing, I have no problems. And the accuracy was rather incredible. I was honestly impressed with how good the accuracy stock was out of this blaster. And there was even a slight breeze. So that was really surprising to me. If you want to put some kind of bandolier or something on it, there is a big loop right here that you could attach something to. And of course, there's a sling mount right here and right here. They're a little thin, but I think they'll do the job. Overall, while the quality isn't the highest thing ever, it's only $25. And what is lacking in quality on this thing could be excused by that because every function you would possibly need is here. It's got full compatibility with any other full length dart I've tried so far, so I haven't, I have no complaints about the Crusher. In fact, I have nothing but good things to say. And this is going to be a mainstay on the HVZ battlefields. This is going to be the new Super Drum Magnum because not only does this thing take chains, but there's probably no limit into how much chain you could have dangling off the end of this thing. And if you have somebody who can fire two to 300 darts at a reasonable fire rate or single shot if they need to without stopping, at HVZ levels, which doesn't require any kind of modded blaster, and it doesn't have loud flywheels or anything like that, this is a game changer for a lot of people, and that's where I'm excited. This is something that we've needed for a long time, a good chain-fed blaster that has expandability in the chain department. And even if this thing gets a little too long, if you need to take a break and just break it off, it's super easy to do so because these chains are designed to do that. And with how inexpensive the Crusher is, I expect to see a lot of people buying multiples of them. Not only could you have two, put a strap around you and just have it so you could just push fire both of them at the same time if you really wanted to. I'm sure there are gonna be people who are gonna flywheel this thing if they really wanna ruin an already great thing. But cosmetically, this thing is incredible looking. There's so much good surface detail on it. It's one of the coolest design blasters I have ever seen and it ticks all of the boxes. The only thing that I'm worried about is the linkage from the priming grip to the plunger tube, how big that plunger tube is and how well it can take a spring upgrade and well, reinforcing all this stuff in general because it really just doesn't feel that strong, but I haven't managed to break it yet and I kind of tried. And this is one of the blasters that's gonna get my highest seal of approval right now. Even if you don't think you're gonna use something like this, it's one of those things that does something different enough that you're probably going to want to pick one up and keep it in your arsenal anyway, because you never know when you're going to need a good chain-fed springer with lots of expandability when it comes to ammo capacity. And quick reloads, because again, this chain mechanism is... Oh, that is so good, Zuru. And if I keep going, I'll keep frothing at the mouth about it. But this is the Zuru Crusher. It is, again, $25. This was picked up from Target by Dr. Flux. Thank you very much, sir. I do appreciate you supporting me on this channel as much as you do. And for those of you who also want to support the channel, there's a link to my Patreon down in the comment section below, pinned at the top, or in a card in the corner, or even in the description of this very video to help get stuff like this. And hey, if you like this video, hit like, hit subscribe. Maybe I'll crack this thing open and see exactly what it can do in terms of performance, because 
there's a lot to love with the Crusher. Well done, Zuru. I don't know if this is going to be the best blaster yet. I still really like the Shell Strike, but this is a good one. This is a very, very good one. I'm Wallcom7. Thank you so very much for watching this video. And of course, I hope to see you in an entirely different one. You gotta... Uh